What's going on YouTube? So today we're gonna to check out Swan Smart Security System. This is their 490KH2 model. This one's got a four channel network video recorder. So it comes with two cameras and it also comes with the MVR itself with the one terabyte hard drive for continuous recording. It is expandable up to two more uh, 1080p security cameras. So that means you can have up to four security cameras from Swan hooked up to this system. So let's go ahead and check some of it out here real quick. So it does send wireless video signal to the actual NVR itself. All you have to do is plug in the actual cameras itself into power and then through wireless network, it sends the signal back to the actual NVR itself. Um, it will see and hear everything in full HD, so it can hear sound and it also records video in full HD 1080p. So it provides 24 seven protection. What that really means is it will record on the one terabyte hard drive that it's included here continuously and then once that hard drive gets full it goes to the oldest uh, video it recorded and starts erasing that so you can record all the time and it doesn't actually have to be set up for motion only they do have true detect heat sensing what's really nice about this uh, type of technology is uh, have you ever had a security camera if you if you had one before set up and it's set up to motion sense only and you have a shadow of tree branches moving around or you have um, let's say when moving around leaves, it goes ahead and then senses that motion and records it as if it's actual motion that you need to be recording. When we all know, I don't need to see the trees moving around or leaves moving around. So it actually uses heat sensing to detect if the object is actual person and it needs to be recording this, the motion itself. So like we said, for, uh, 24 protection, 24 seven protection, uh, that means you can set it and forget it. So this does have uh, an iPhone app and I believe an Android app. So that way you can actually go in and since live motion at any time on any camera, you can also uh, talk to somebody from your app on your phone to the camera and they can talk back to you if you need to. Um, you can also listen in without them knowing and you can also get notifications and alerts. So that way when you do, when it does sense motion, it will alert you and you can go and check it out. So let's check and see what it comes with in the box. All right, so let's take a look and see what you get when you purchase this product. Um, it comes with a Swan NVR with one terabyte hard drive inside it already. Um, I did cover up the QR code because that's something you scan for your app to make sure you sync it to, to your app and your account. It comes with uh, two uh, Wi-Fi cameras with their Wi-Fi antennas and then the power adapters. Um, it'll come with mounting, mounting screws or screws and drywall anchors for both of these so you can mount them to your wall as well as it comes with templates, so that way you can uh, uh, put these up and drill the holes where they need to be. It comes with an ethernet cable, so that way you can hook up the, the NPR to your network via ethernet. It also comes with a mouse. Uh, it looks like one of those gaming mice, so it's pretty nice quality actually. Um, I'm not sure I'd use it for gaming, but it just looks more uh, modern uh, versus just a standard mouse. Uh, but this allows you to, to move through screens on the actual MVR on your TV. We'll show you that later. Comes with two analog audio cables uh, that plug into the MVR if you need it. And then you have the power adapter for the MVR itself. Um, it also comes with an HDMI cable. Uh, I don't know where it went, but I have tons of those laying around, but it does come with an HDMI cable. So it comes with everything you need. So I want to take a further look at the actual MVR and the cameras. So as you can see here, you got the Swan logo here. It's a four channel network video recorder. So that means you can actually have four uh, video recordings of going on at once. You have the power indicator here and then the hard drive uh, status. So that way when the hard drive is actually being used, it lights up and blinks as it's being used. And then you have the Wi-Fi antennas for the actual MVR. Um, one thing you need to know about this is it will hook up via ethernet and then all the wireless cameras hook up to this wirelessly based on their own wireless network or you can hook up the base to a, your network via wireless. And then when you do that, the actual cameras connect to your network as well, not the NVR network, but your actual network wirelessly. It's really nice to give you those options because if your NVR is somewhere to the point where you don't have that great of a Wi-Fi signal to it for the cameras, but your Wi-Fi network at your house is actually stronger than it, you can connect the cameras to the Wi-Fi network and then Wi-Fi network to this or vice versa. If your Wi-Fi network is slow, you can, uh, or not slow, but if your Wi-Fi network is uh, in one area where you want a camera is kind of not as good as it should be, you can connect to this unit directly via the, its own Wi-Fi network. 
So like I said, here's the antennas for the Wi-Fi. Uh, you have a micro SD slot. Uh, it didn't come with a micro SD card, but uh, those are pretty cheap. You can purchase one anywhere pretty much that sells anything electronics. Um, it has the LAN uh, Ethernet port for connecting to your LAN or your internet. And then you have the analog audio out. You have a VGA port, so if you have this hooked up to maybe a computer monitor, you can use a VGA cable. I highly recommend using HDMI if you can because it's full HD with HDMI. So obviously we have the HDMI port here. You have two USB ports here. Um, that way you can set up a hard drive to this, next extra hard drive to this, uh, thumb drive to download your uh, footage or download a certain piece of footage. And then you have the power plug. All right, so here you have the camera it's itself. Uh, it's actually uh, really good quality, really good build quality. Um, the mount itself is uh, pretty damn good quality. Uh, I, one thing I see about security cameras is the actual mount is hard to play around with and it's hard to get the right angle. Um, but this is real easy to tighten and loosen up with one hand. Um, you do have the actual 1080p camera. This has night vision as well as day vision. Um, so night vision, I can't remember how far up night vision it has, but I'll show you some sample videos of what it looks like during the day and what it looks like during the night. Um, then you have the actual true detect heat sensor right down here. So that way, like I said before, it will detect heat off of a body so it knows that that's something that you need to be recording versus uh, a tree limb or a branch or, or leaves. Um, then you have the microphone at the very top. So that way when someone talks to it, uh, you can hear it on your actual app or through the video recording. You have the Wi-Fi antenna. Then on the on the back, you actually have the speaker, so that way they can hear what you're telling them. Um, and you can actually talk back and forth through these. And then you have the mounting holes, so you can mount this to anything, like anything solid, so your wall or anything like that. Uh, what's nice is they give you two different options to mount this. Um, you can drill a hole through your wall and run the power cable through it, or you can actually use a little slot here and you don't have to actually run this through a wall or anything like that. So if you have an outlet outside that's pretty close to the camera, you can run it down the wall. Um, it's got a foam pad here, so that way it, it has a nice solid uh, fit when you screw it on. Then you have the actual power adapter here, and then you have a reset button here. So that way if you have issues connecting the camera, you can reset it and back to factory settings. But anyways, so this is actually uh, weatherproof. Uh, I'd hope it is actually weatherproof, but um, most outdoor cameras are weatherproof and should be at weatherproof. Um, but yes, this is fully weatherproof, and uh, so it can take up to rain, dust, wind, and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up, and the camera's outside, and we're gonna go ahead and show you what the actual uh, what you'll see on your on your TV when you connect it to the MVR, as well as go through the settings on that a little bit. And then I'm also going to show you what the quality is of daytime video of the actual cameras itself and then also nighttime uh, quality. So that way you can see what the actual quality is that you're going to get from these cameras before you buy them. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the audio test and the video test during the day. Uh, it's a little overcast, kind of sprinkling on and off here, so it's not as bright as it should be. Uh, there's a car coming down the street here, so you'll see that and hear that as well. Oh, no, nope, it's going to turn. So, this is the quality of the actual video uh, through one of the cameras. So here's a test at nighttime. Uh, the audio's not going to be any different during daytime and nighttime, but as you can see, it's pitch black out here. Neighbors have lights on, but I had to turn off my outside lights so you can see, so you can see what it looks like. Um, I'm just at my sidewalk area coming up to the house. All right, so I have the NVR set up uh, to one of my TVs in my house, 
And as you can see, I have actually, I have three cameras set up. Um, some of you might remember that I did their Swans PT uh, pan, and, uh, pan and tilt camera. Uh, so that's connected down in the basement right now. So uh, right now we're doing a little renovation down in the basement. And I have it pointed towards the egress window for now because uh, right now we don't have any curtains. But so it connects to this as well. So there are other cameras that are Wi Fi also can connect to the MVR itself. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind if you have any other Swan camera that's Wi Fi. I'm not sure how compatible all of them are, but I think most of all newer ones that are Wi Fi capable actually connect to their MVRs. So I have my front camera outside here, my front doorway, and then I have my back camera on the back side of my house. Uh, there is a front light on right now and the backyard that's completely dark so you can see how well that world turns out. I will show you kind of uh, audio and video tests for daytime and nighttime uh, after this but I just want to show you this app real quick. Um, so this is just live. Uh, oops. That one's kind of far, far away from where we are right now. Um, not sure why I just lost the video but uh, so, with the mouse, you can go here and you can search. You can actually go search. There it comes back. But you can search uh, anything in red. Will tell you if there's any motion going on uh, at any time. So I can search. It looks like uh, my front camera, judging by the lights, it looks like there was actually a car that's going to drive by. Um, so I have the sensitivity of the actual motion turned up a little bit. Um, I can actually control what motion I actually pick up based on zones too as well. So I'll show you that in a second here. So I do that in this menu area and I go to motion and I pick what camera I'm looking for and then I set, I can set based on the, bo the boxes what zones I want to use. So if I just want to use right here I can and then totally miss anything that's coming through the street. So I'll cancel all that. I can also set sensitivity uh, based on time frame. So that way if there's any reason that I really want it to be sensitive um, Between the times I'm coming home or when I'm not home I can do that if I know the trash truck guy comes and it picks it up every time I can set it to lower sensitivity in all reality You have one terabyte hard drive. So really if it's too sensitive and it's picking up a lot of motion as long as it's not picking up some like not motion that you want to really record, I don't think you need to worry about it. So you can also set up different uh, schedules for recordings. And then you can also set up uh, your individual cameras to, to uh, what resolution you want, what frame rate you want to record in, and what bit rate. So that's, that's really nice to uh, be able to choose that as you wish. And then they have a network set up where you can choose if you want to use this, the Wi-Fi cameras connect to this Wi-Fi signal, or if you want to connect it to your actual Wi-Fi network. So there you have it. This is their one terabyte MVR system with two Wi-Fi cameras. Um, I did add the, the pan and tilt camera that I actually have too. Uh, so that didn't come with it, but you can buy that separately. Um, so that's really nice because you can set that anywhere inside the house and you can pan and tilt as you wish. Um, but uh, this is how it is. Um, I went ahead and showed you the quality of the camera and also the audio itself uh, during the day and night for video quality. Um, if this is your first time coming around and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this down the road, as well as hit that like button if you like the video. And if you have any questions about this, go ahead and put it down in the comment section below and I'm happy to answer them for you. Other than that, I will see you on the next video.